Hi everyone. I am here today with Ink Flight. So this is for July 2022. I was really excited because when I first did the tracking, it said it would be here on um, Wednesday, and it's Monday. So very exciting. Getting supplies at the ready. little rag, some coloring cards, Put that out of the way, oops, then we gotta get this Tomoe River notebook going, I'm gonna set this back here. And I got two large containers of water, so Let's go. So it's a different shape. Maybe like there's something long in it. <laughs> cool. So what do we have? We have some stickers um, of baked goods. So these are transfer stickers, interesting. So you like cut them out and you put them on there. You know what, they're kind of like fake tattoos. Um, we know I like baked goods, those look like pancakes. I would like those in my stick. And a book band pen case. So it's for A5 or B6, which is um, the size I use for um, most of my stuff. I like this that it is uh, adjustable. It uses the same kind of hardware that bra straps use, so that's nice. Um, and I guess you put your pen in there or in here. Well, that's pretty cute. Um, if I didn't have my little Galen leather thing, I would um, absolutely adore this. This is this color that I got is kind of a hmm, terracotta. And then, why did I laugh when I saw what inks we got? Because it's Monar Monarca, which is, I just bought a bottle of it. Um, but just of one of them. So this is me getting to look at some of the other colors, which is very exciting. So, welcoming travelers this month, we travel to Mexico to sample inks from a newcomer to the fountain pen ink scene, Monarca. Monarca Stationery. Explore the beautiful landscape of Mexico. I should say Mexico. Um, with the inspired collection of Monarca's fine writing inks, shading, shimmer, and sheen, this range of colors will excite and delight. So we have Cielo Cruel. Cielo, is that sky or heaven? Um, and we have Cardona. We have Cenote. Mar Caribe, do you mean Caribbean Ocean or Caribbean Sea? Uh, Manglar, Arena Blanca, and Re Jaguar, I believe. Who knows if they actually pronounce it that way. I'm just going off of basically high school Spanish. So. Let's do this. Should I make a new one for Cenote? I kind of don't feel like it. Let's go grab that card. Well, maybe I'll take a page from Amanda's book, who does actually re-swatch them. So let's let's go. We're gonna get our brush wet. I'm really excited actually, because you know I have a bottle of Cenote. Well, maybe you don't know. I have a bottle of Cenote and I'm very eager to use it. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you can hear the mission bells. 
What time is it? Mm -hmm. So we have Cielo Cruel. This color represents the sky at Zacatecas City in northern Mexico, showing a deep blue color with big clouds. Uh, I feel like I'm not writing as normally as I normally would because I just don't need plasma today. And this bandage really restricts my movement, but I have to leave it on for another few hours. Um, Yeah, that was really good writing that happened over there. <laughs> it wasn't. Oh, wow. Mm, mm, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Blue lovers. It's a lovely blue to love. So, uh, you know what? It reminds me, it almost looks like it's granulating, like some watercolors would. That's interesting. I like it. So far off the cuff, it reminds me of Tsukio by Iro Shizuku. You are beautiful. Oh, I want you. And next up is... Cardona. This ink has a beautiful sheen and shimmer. Wait, and shimmer? I don't see. Oh, 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 yep. Inspired by the del delicious cactus fruit, Tuna Cardona. Mm, we have cactuses right at the end of uh, this building I'm in. wrote that well. <sighs> Pride. Not usually one of the sins I fall prey to, but she done good this time. Oh, this color it looks like in the water, man, it looks like quinacridone magenta. Let me shake this back up. Have you, can you tell I've been watching watercolor videos? <laughs> Everything looks like a watercolor color shade to me. I haven't been doing watercolor, but not lately. This color is lovely. I don't think I have anything like this, but then I don't have many reds. I decided like early on, like, well, obviously I need a red ink if I'm going to have pens. So I sampled a few and then I saw Red Dragon by Diamine and I was like, oh, here's, here's red. Red sorted. <laughs> so that is Cardona. And it looks like 
the sheen coming up is a green, potentially gold. Hard to tell. We're gonna have to put these somewhere else. Ugh. I'm on my short little sewing net, so I, like there's sewing things everywhere, just off, just off screen. <laughs> but it is a warmer day, so these are these swatches are drying quickly. Uh, next up is Cenote. Um, Cenote is inspired by the mystical cenotes found in the Riviera Maya. This ink has a deep sheen and twinkle of shimmer. So a cenote is like a cave that has an opening to the sky. I mean, I could put it that way. Um... You have almost certainly seen images of one where you're like looking down into this hole in the ground and like there's like water and like tropical oasis inside. That's a cenote. Um, if you've played Call of Duty Warzone, there's one in the lagoon area. Uh, and all opinions are my own. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag all opinions my own. Um, I'm gonna pull out my cenote swatch to compare. So we'll we'll I'm I'm trying to do this quickly. Oh my gosh, that Cardona! I'm trying to do this video quickly because I have like other stuff to do, like hang out with people. Um, but. There's other, you know, going going big with these videos. Oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. These are I'm making them juicy. <laughs> that one, I, I mean, super saturated there. I maybe put too much ink on. Do we care? <laughs> like clean water is not a perfectly clean anymore but it's mostly clean this way you have two two things of water by the way okay so next up mar caribe so i would have assumed that caribe is caribbean and mar is like ocean or sea this color is inspired by the Riviera's turquoise sea. Good job, Maria. Come on now. I don't want to toot my own horn, but so far I've remembered about swatching on the other paper. So obviously this setup works well for me, she says, before the video's over. This is a beautiful color. Reminds me off the cuff of Lamy Turquoise. What is with this? Then we have Manglar. 
This color is inspired by the lush mangrove forests at Riviera Maya. Um, there's mangrove forests um, in the Keys, and they are pretty dope. Why are they forests? Well, whatever. There's, there's lots of mangrove. Say this is good enough. Yep. And I believe Monarca is actually named for Monarch Butter, like the Monarch Butterfly, Monarca. Either that or it could be some just some kind of monarch, but I'm not sure. I probably shouldn't have said that, but it's too late I did. You heard it, and I don't edit. Oh, this green is lovely. So, I'm just going to say it. I don't like these new coloring cards. I don't like the way they take the ink for my dip pen, and I don't love the way they take the ink from the paintbrush. But it's okay. I was so careful. Next up, um, kind of stinks that the last two are the light ones. Arena Blanca. Is that like white beach? White sands, maybe? This color represents the white sands at Riviera Maya beaches. Well, I overdipped that. This is not my type of color. Having watched like videos of people swatching these inks, it's a lovely color. This is what my cup of tea looks like in the morning. <laughs> More or less. Uh, but, you know me, I don't like brown. And... <laughs> Just, uh, it's a bit too light, too. I'm going to like shave off part of this paintbrush or crush it so that it just stays flat. So a pretty sort of beige, really quite a lot like tea. And then, finalmente, Ray Jaguar. I'm going with that as the pronunciation. If you speak Spanish, feel free to correct me. There's a fiber in the tip of this now. I'm for 
stretching it. Probably a little concerning when you find some plastic piece on the floor that you don't know where it came from. Um, that vet you think you heard drop. <laughs> okay, shake it again. Oh, that manglar is drying so beautifully on the Tamoy River. Royal Jaguar, yes. Look like that, that's from water, I think. It's fine. Great, great, great. Okay, we're gonna line these up to look at as a group and I'm gonna actually probably pause and get the ones that I was like, this looks like this. And see if I was at all correct in my assessment. Um, Schmitzing, schmitzing in here. It's a, man, it's a hot one. Not quite like seven inches from the midday sun, though. So. Digging it, digging it spot the difference um okay so um i got my little swatch cards but and i took a quick look you have to say they're not that similar after all most of the things that i thought i did however think i would get this see how it looks on a thing um let's try this a book band pencil thing. Here it is. That's nice. Okay, so let's move these aside. You just put them there. I know. I know. Okay, so Cielo Cruel. I thought it might look like Tsukio, but Tsukio, I forget, is more of a slightly more green. Um, maybe like Lamy Blue. Hmm. It's between the two. I like this color quite a lot. Cardona. I don't really have anything quite like it. It reminds me of Macopa. Um, but Macopa's base color is different. So this was a magenta with that green sheen and the cardona is a red with the green sheen and it's got mm, that looks like gold or bronze or copper glitter kind of i wonder how much like all the best yeah so different glitter color but it's not too dissimilar from all the best Cenote, here's the funny thing, because you know I just bought a bottle of Cenote. Well, it's not entirely unlike <laughs> Glamorous Peacock. <laughs> Different glitter color, or shimmer color. And I actually think...
the base color is slightly different too. So this is a slightly lighter blue. This is a slightly richer one. Uh, pretty consistent, I'd say. Just for my bottle. Here's this swatch. The Mar Caribe, I thought looked like Lamy Turquoise. Actually, I suppose maybe it's somewhere between these two. So here it is next to Lamy Turqu Lamy Turquoise. This is greener. Here it is next to Porth Kerno Cove, where this is bluer. I could almost convince myself using that logic that clearly I don't actually have this color of ink. So maybe I need it. Oh, Maria. And here it is next to Sailor Michigan. Monglar, I don't have anything like it. The closest thing I would probably have would be Schrodinger. And you can see it's, it's nothing alike. Far darker. Arena Blanca, I know I have nothing like. Not even bother. And the closest I would probably have to Rejaguar would be Golden Barrel. And this is more of a beigey background. Golden Barrel is more gold. Um... Golden Barrel might be harder to come by, and you might prefer this. I don't. Um, but I don't prefer either, sort of. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, let's look at them on Tamoy River paper. The swatches are mostly dry, except for the ones that went on pretty heavy. I'll prepare them. So... Get out of my way. Okay, here we go. So, here's Cielo Cruel. That's what I was laughing about the writing. You can see this has more shading on here, although you can see it on this in the writing. But it's more evident there. Cardona, I vastly prefer on the Tamoy River because this is taken over by the sheen, which is not really surprising on these really absorbent papers and some sometimes. Um, and so the Cardona on here, you can see more of the base color. And I like that a lot. I think this one is so lovely. Cenote, oh yeah. Hello. Lovely, lovely. It seems to have more shimmer than my bottle did. Maybe I didn't shake it well. Maybe my, actually it's more likely that my sample got more shimmer. Um, Marcaribe. Uh, you can see some of the shading evident in the writing, but it's pretty evident on this paper. Monglar. Look at this. Look at how, like, there are some blues that are coming out in here and a lot more depth. This is quite flat by comparison. Arena Blanca, pretty similar. They actually look, this on this paper, it looks cooler, like a far cooler tone. Like you, I actually think I could probably convince someone that these were two different colors of inks, right? Like, yeah. And then here we have the Jaguar King. Really lovely. So here we have July 2022 Ink Flight featuring Monarca. You got this cool dope thingy that words are escaping me. And some stickers that have this. this oh, that looks so good right now because I'm so hot. Um, so Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you again soon with some kind of video. Bye!